We travel to bring what little we can, in our ignorance and knowledge, to those parts of the globe whose riches are differently dispersed. And we travel, in essence, to become young fools again, to slow time down and get taken in, and fall in love once more. It is never there on the spot as it were, but always beyond. Its symbol is the horizon, and its interest always lies over the edge, in the unseen. No matter how you choose to do it, whether it's land, air, and sea, you just have to enjoy the journey. This is Diana, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will take you to the under the radar destination, Greenland. Let's start with the basics. Greenland is actually the world's biggest island. By area, that is not a continent. First up, Pamut. Almost 80% of the landmass is covered by an ice cap. The ice-free area may be a minority, but it's still around the size of Sweden. With a population of 57,000 estimated, it is one of the least densely populated countries in the world. Question is, is Greenland really was green? Since most of Greenland is covered in ice, snow, and glaciers, the Arctic nation is mostly white. So how did it get its name Greenland when it's not really green? It actually got its name from Eric the Red, an Icelandic murderer who was exiled to the island. He called it Greenland in hopes that the name would attract settlers but according to the scientists, Greenland was actually quite green more than 2.5 million years ago. Despite the size of the land, there are no roads or railway system that connect settlements to one another. All travel between towns is done by plane, boat, helicopter, snowmobile, or dog sled. Boats are by far the most popular mode of transportation and you'll often see locals out cruising the fjords every summer. Fishing is a major industry in Greenland. The country imports almost everything except for fish seafood and other animals hunted in Greenland, such as whales and seals. Greenland boasts one of the largest ice sheets in the world, second only to Antarctica. It affects sea level and covers more than 1.8 million square kilometers. That is, in fact, nearly the entirety of the island, a whopping 80% of it which means there is an ice-free area in Greenland. Every year, the sun does not set for May 25th to July 25th, and it's always visible throughout the entire day and night. The midnight sun, as it's called. It's a pretty cool natural phenomenon that everyone needs to experience at least once in their lifetime. June 21st, the longest day of the year, is the summer solstice and national holiday in Greenland. 
you'll find locals out busking in the sun or enjoying barbecue out in nature. Now, what do you think about that? Would you live here? Let's find out more. Is Greenland expensive? Air Greenland is an excellent airline that covers virtually every inhabited corner of the island. Keep in mind, Greenland is not just expensive, it is very expensive. 15 minutes flight may cost you $500 and no frails hotel room might cost over $400 per night depending on where you are. Let me give you a rundown of some prices here in Greenland. Fast food combo meal in McDonald's or similar is $19. The basic meal is like $17. A bottle of Coca-Cola is $3.25. One bottle of water is $2.28. Is it expensive for you? The last thing, but very important to know, is that is Greenland dangerous? Is there a crime in Greenland? Greenland is not a place you have to worry about crime. According to the statistical website, Greenland rates as low for crime and high for safety. Did you know that there are no trees growing in Greenland? Can you imagine not having seen a tree for your entire life if you are born here? Now let me just show you the snippets of our travel here. Enjoy!